Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the last episode of my summer vlogs. I hope you'll enjoy this one too. Anyways, it was a pleasure for me to share my summer with you, show you what I did, share with you my discoveries and activities. So I hope you enjoyed and maybe they gave you some inspirations and ideas or at least you had a great time watching them. We went to this cute restaurant that you just saw called Maison Sauvage. The food was very good but the table was so small so we kind of made a mess but it's okay <laughs> that happens then we walk around and we went to the museum musée d'orsay it's our favorite museum in paris and we kind of go every year during summer because we have a bit more time the place is very beautiful and the vibe is so cool so i love to go there i feel really good in that place and you can see a lot of paintings and there are a lot of impressionism art so we usually go to see that at the end after seeing the temporary exhibition this time it was james so exhibition and it was very interesting i did not know that artist so it was really interesting for me to discover his art and also his history know a bit more about him so i really enjoyed my time there and david and i had a great time <laughs> guess it's time to say baby baby how you make me feel when you come to mind i can keep my cool baby baby du musée d'Orsay, on a vu une très belle exposition sur James Tissot. Je vous leur conseille un bisou à tous. Then we went back home and eat some watermelon, our favorite summer fruit. <laughs> we also started watching Dynasty, the Netflix show. It's pretty good. We watched the first season and also the half of the second one. But I don't know if we're going to keep watching it. Let me know if you're watching this show. Do you think we should keep watching and see the season 3? Let me know what you think. Then I went to this event that was on a boat that is called Green River, Green River Cruises, sur la Seine. The nice thing about this boat is that they are 100% electrical, they are good for the environment and they make zero noise so it's very nice and you can go there and bring your food, your drinks, play some music so it's very nice if you want to rent it with your friends or family, it's pretty cool. Let me know if you have ever been to Paris and if you have ever done a cruise on La Seine, I would love to know. It's very, very nice and it's so cool to see the city from this point of view. Then a few days later we went to see David's parents in Vendôme. We also saw my family. They came for dinner at home before we left. 
It was in the week or maybe the weekend before, I don't really remember. But it was nice, so we had some family time. And also David and his parents prepared for me a lovely surprise. They bought me some art supplies and created me this little space to paint. So it was so nice and so adorable from them to do that. So I had to paint and it was really nice to be able to paint again. I haven't painted a lot during the summer, unfortunately. So it was great to get back at it and create again. It was also pretty cool to take a break and just go back with some new fresh ideas and wanting to create new art. So we'll see what I will come up with in the future, but hopefully that break was a good one. <laughs> I started this painting that I haven't finished yet, only using the primary colors that I've mixed and yeah, just to get the, the colors I kind of wanted, but it was pretty difficult actually to get the right colors without my usual colors that I have at home, but it was fun. And I want to do something a bit more precise and I have something specific in mind so I'm, I want to take my time to finish this one and it also will be a gift for David's parents so I also want to take my time to yeah just to finish it <laughs> properly. <laughs> As you may have seen in the previous vlogs, we are roller skating again. We actually did some roller skating inside, indoor, at home. It was the first time that we did that together. At the moment, he doesn't really like to do that at home. I do. I love um, roller dancing at home. I think it's very fun. So we'll see we, if we keep doing that. But we have started an Instagram account that is called UD Roller. Uh, if you want to follow our journey and our progress, hopefully. <laughs> David likes roller skating outdoor and I love practicing indoor because I feel more safe. But I do need to practice more outside too. <laughs> I did a lot of dance dancing in the past and a lot of salsa. So I love dancing salsa and I love dancing as a couple. I think it's so fun. But anyway, I also try to practice by myself and improve my moves and my dancing on roller skate skills. <laughs> I don't have the right setting here I would say because my roller skates are not the best for dancing so I've decided to change that and you'll see my new roller skates soon and also my wheels are not meant for I mean they are hybrid wheels but I think they are not really good uh, for indoor and even for outdoor actually so I don't really like these wheels so I've also decided to try to find right wheels for indoors and also some better wheels for outdoors so I will just show you that in the future too. By the way let me know if you want me to talk a bit more about my roller skating journey in my videos I would love to know your thoughts on that. <laughs> a few days later I think we went to this vegan coffee shop, cafe, restaurant. I mean, it's a mix of everything, but the food is so good. Everything is vegan and everything's so good. We really enjoyed that meal. 
and we also went shopping some vinyls so we bought some new vinyls and we went to the cinema we were at Châtelier so you have kind of a big mall and you have everything in it so you have La Fnac where you can buy vinyls, books that's where we went and I'm gonna show you what we bought when we go home and you also have a big cinema it's been a while since we watch a movie in a theater a cinema so it was actually really good to do that for the experience I would say of the cinema and the movie was very interesting um, it's called Enragé and I think in English it's unhinged I never used that word in English I don't know if I pronounce it right hopefully <laughs> so the vinyl we bought are the new albums of Ketranada, Summer Walker and Yann Lavas on est prêt on fait là pour le compte des rollers l'un des meilleurs contrôleurs mesdames et messieurs de l'histoire française on est là c'est parti on y va let's go we went practicing our roller skating skills so we went near Jussieu where the ground, the floor is very smooth so it's very pleasant to roll on it and, and you also have a lot of skaters a little bit further who go there to, to skate so it's a nice place to go for roller skating but there are a lot of people there And as I said, I bought some new roller skates, so I bought the Moxiloli in black. <laughs> and I found them on the website Roller Derby by House, which is a German website, so it's a European website. It's very hard to find this roller skate, so I was very lucky and very happy to be able to get my hands on them. I chose the black because they are... Easy to wear with everything and they look really cool, but the colors are so tempting too. They are so beautiful. You have a lot of very nice colors too. These are suede and they have a heel and an adjustable toe stop. I would say they are meant for roller dancing. They are perfect for that. Uh, they have not a lot of padding in it and a lot of ankle support, but I don't necessarily want that because I like the flexibility. They are not cheap, so it's an investment, but if you know that you are gonna stick to roller skating and that you want to do more tricks and dance I would highly recommend these ones they are very comfortable not at first for me because I have pretty wide feet I had a little breaking period but they are now very fun and very comfortable I also changed one of the cushions because I wanted to be able to turn a bit easier it depends on your weight so you might have to change the cushions and I wanted softer cushions so that's what I did I also bought some skate park wheels thinking that they would be great for dancing but I don't think they are and especially not indoor because they tend to scratch my floor so I'm gonna keep this one for later so they are not the right one for me so you'll see in the future the wheels I finally got for 
dancing indoor and also for outdoor skating so you'll see that very soon i decided to put my rio hybrid wheels on because i actually don't like the moxie gummy wheels that came with the roller skate they are too big for me i'm pretty small and i have small feet too <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments i would love to know your thoughts please like and subscribe and i hope to see you very soon in a new video bye